A man on film just walked off the ending. I the best Texas leaguer we've seen on the tour. What you're looking at is banana ball, and it's reinventing baseball as we know it. They've danced their way to a home run that goes far beyond home plate. This isn't a gimmick either. They are generating serious revenue and growth that even has Major League Baseball paying attention. Baseball is often considered America's pastime, a sport that has been around for over 150 years and has produced some of the most iconic moments and legends in sports history. But in recent years, baseball has also faced some challenges such as declining popularity, viewership, and youth participation. Many fans and critics have complained that baseball is too slow, too long, too predictable, and too boring compared to other sports like football, basketball, and hockey. But not everyone agrees with this negative view of baseball. Some people still love the game and want to make it more exciting and engaging for the fans. One of these people is Jesse Cole, a former college baseball player who had a vision for making baseball more entertaining. The batter is calling for time. Looks like he's going and getting himself a new bat. And now there's a beach ball on the field. Jesse had previously run a college summer league in Gastonia, North Carolina, where he experimented with different ways to entertain the fans, such as having players dance on the field, giving away free tickets, and having a grandma beauty pageant. Jesse wanted to take his ideas to the next level, so he moved to Savannah, Georgia, where he leased the historic Grayson Stadium after the previous minor league team, the Savannah Sand Nats, relocated to South Carolina. Jesse faced many challenges in his first year in Savannah. The stadium was old and run down, the local media was skeptical of his plans, and the fans were not interested in watching an unaffiliated minor league team. Cole had to sell his house and empty his savings accounts just to keep the team afloat. He also had to come up with a catchy name for the team that would stand out from the crowd. Despite some initial backlash, he decided to call his team the Savannah Bananas. Is everybody here bananas? Jesse's gamble paid off. The Savannah and Bananas quickly became a viral hit on social media thanks to their hilarious videos and stunts. Literally built as an athlete. Every blood test I've ever done has said that I am like over the normal limit of athleticness. And the best part of this plan is no one can stop me. They also started selling out every home game, attracting fans from all over the country who wanted to experience their unique brand of baseball. The team broke the collegiate summer league attendance record in their first two seasons and have sold out every game since then. In 2023, they now have a current waiting list of over 500,000 people. So how are they filling up these seats so quickly? The Savannah Banana success goes far beyond just the inclusion of dances and stunts. Perhaps it's because at Grayson Stadium, the fans come first. There's no ads on the walls and the $25 open seating ticket not only includes taxes, but also food and drinks. Probably the bigger reason though, is Jesse reinvented baseball to be more exciting and faster paced. He realized that many fans would leave before the end of traditional baseball games because they were bored by the slow and predictable nature of the sport. He also noticed that many fans did not care about the final score or outcome, but rather the fun moments that happened during the game. His solution? create his own version of baseball called Banana Ball, which he launched in 2020. It's got some unique rules that only Jesse himself can explain. Rule number one, every inning counts. If you win the inning, you get a point. How do you win an inning? You score more runs than the other team. And the final inning matters the most, with every run counting as a point. Number two, there's a two hour time limit. When we hit the two hours, boom, it's over. Unless there's a tie and then it goes to our one-on-one -on -one showdown. Pitcher versus hitter with only one fielder. The pitcher has to stop the hitter or the hitter has to score. Number four, there's no bunting. Bunting sucks, we're eliminating it. All right, swing the bat. Next rule, you can steal first. If a pitcher throws a wild pitch, I don't care what count it is. All right, hitter take off. Number six, there are no walks. Walks are now sprints. On ball four, the hitter takes off to first. He can advance to as many bases as he wants, while the catcher has to throw the ball to every single position player before it becomes live. 
Number seven, batters cannot step out of the batter's box. You step out, it's a strike. Next rule, no mound visits. Coach does a slow little walk out to the mound. He's just delaying the game. Fans don't need that. We're done with that. And finally, what's the most fans first rule you could have? Well, let the fans actually play. If a fan catches a foul ball, it's an out. Everyone's trying to be a part of the game. Now fans can be. And that's Banana Ball. Banana Ball was a near instant success because it focused more on the audience than the sport itself. The fans love the unpredictability and the interaction with the players who often run into the stands to hand out roses, play guitar, or do magic tricks. The players love the freedom and the creativity that Banana Ball allows them as they can show off their personalities and skills without worrying about stats or scouts. It's also making many of their athletes become individual social media stars that can be highly lucrative on their own. So what are you waiting for? I don't know, something amazing I guess. Banana Ball averages a far higher amount of memorable moments compared to baseball due to its freedom, like when they had a 75-year-old former major leaguer pitching an inning. The Savannah Bananas are often compared to the Harlem Globetrotters because of their entertainment-focused approach to the sport. And like the Globetrotters, there are scripted moments in their games. But unlike the Globetrotters, who never lose to the Washington Generals, the outcome of Bananas games are not predetermined, especially when fans are catching foul balls that can completely change the final score. After gaining traction under the new rule set, the team was proving to be quite profitable. The bulk of its revenue came from ticket sales, premium concessions, and merchandise. But then they ran into a problem most would be glad to have. They couldn't sell any more tickets. They had flatlined their growth. The Savannah Bananas then had a bold idea, to become a traveling baseball team that would play in different cities all year round. The idea came after Major League Baseball decided to cut off 40 minor league teams, leaving many fans in stadiums without baseball. Jesse saw this as an opportunity to bring their fun and entertaining style of baseball to new markets. In 2023, the Savannah Bananas went on a 71-game, 33-city barnstorming tour across the country, playing banana bowl against local teams and showcasing their brand of baseball to new audiences. PixWise estimates they'll be generating revenues over $10 million on this sold-out tour alone. They're also looking to expand their franchise to other cities and countries where they can not only spread their message of making baseball fun, but greatly increase their revenues. The Savannah Bananas have shown for many uninterested in traditional baseball that the sport can be fun again, simply by changing the rules and the culture of the game. They've also shown that they can make boatloads of money from their unconventional approach by focusing on the fan experience and creating a loyal community. The Savannah Bananas are not just a baseball team. They are a movement. They are challenging the status quo of baseball and sports in general. They've proven that many audiences aren't watching sports for the high level of competition, but rather for pure entertainment. Sure, for many they are making baseball fun again, but really what they're doing is disrupting the sports market by capturing audiences left behind by traditional sports. Who knows, maybe in time, Jesse's Banana League will be even bigger than Major League Baseball. That would be truly bananas.